how many ironic pack openings do I have to do before this becomes an unironic pack opening channel? Anyway, what is up, guys? I am addicted to these dumb mystery power boxes, and uh, it doesn't help that the the version two of this, which is the blue one here that we opened a couple videos ago, well, about a week ago, uh, it doesn't help that these are $15, not the $25 to $30 as the last one. So it's a lot more tempting to actually splurge a bit and buy one. Um, these have some fun things in them. I've watched some other pack openings, and I now know that one of these sort of special mystery items you can get is the like a Japanese Game Boy game. Um, although I noticed that they took the the cart the promo cards out of the game. They opened the box and took the promo cards out. Those are actually worth something. So that's kind of funny. Uh, I don't know what else, but yeah, I'm like addicted to these things. They're just they're not that expensive. They got some funny stuff in them, and uh, yeah, I bought another one. Let's open it up and see what we get. And uh, we're using this Blue Eyes mat today in honor of all the uh, Blue Eyes cards we recently bought. Uh, check out that video if you haven't. That was, God, these are like... So one of the problems with opening these is that the box itself is pretty cheap. Um, okay, let me try to... Let me use this, this charger, this laptop charger to try to open it. But one of the problems is that the, the box is so cheap that when you try to normally rip it, there we go. When you try to normally rip it, it uh it just collapses, which is really annoying. But that's that's okay. It's I get that they gotta make a profit. They can't give us the the top quality boxes. It's just sometimes I, I would like the top quality. Uh, so anyway, yeah, there's some fun stuff in here. I've never seen one of these before. Oh, what's that? Oh my God, not the dog tags. They brought those over from last time. Probably the worst mystery item is the, the dog tags. What what am I going to do with Yu-Gi-Oh! dog tapes? Ooh, Invasion of Chaos. That's really cool. And Duelist Pack Battle City. Ugh, a Duelist Pack in here. Ugh. Considering that... So that would be... This would be the vintage. So this is counting as a full price uh, booster pack, which, which it is not. So that is sort of a, a jip. But, but really, who is like the dog tag uh marketing towards who's gonna carry on a Yu-Gi-Oh themed dog tag shout out to the one person that like comments that they wear a Yu-Gi-Oh dog tag we'll we'll open this garbage first it's, oh my god I just <laughs> ripped some paper in here why is why was that paper lined up with the the pull tab who's that it's almost like they threw these so I ripped the the dog tag uh little notebook here that tells us oh my god there's you can collect a hundred of them. That's amazing. No one would buy these on purpose, by the way. The only way you would get these is on accident. We pulled Speed Warrior. Wow. Wait. No, we didn't pull Speed Warrior. This is just a, a piece of paper. This is literally just a piece of paper that says Speed Warrior and has a picture of Speed Warrior. This is not a... Yeah, it's not a sticker... The dog tag itself is kind of hard to see, but it's of you say. So it's not even something cool. Ah, oh, boy. Really, though, like, why Why is this, like, an actual part of the, the mystery power box? Who Whose idea was dog? I don't even want to. I can't open it. Also, I don't want to open it. It's too difficult. I must be, like, dumb or something. I need to get, like, a knife. Okay, here's my Yu-Gi-Oh dog tag. Um... I can wear this to the the Great Yugi War of 2018, so people know that I was a Yusei fan. They're like, come on, get that get that garbage out of here. Then we got the battle packs, everyone's favorite. I I do uh non jokingly mean that I actually like Battle Pack Three. Uh, it's by far one of the better formats. Well, it's by far the best draft format in Yu-Gi-Oh. But it's also just a lot of fun in general. There's no like band cards that I know of. There might be one, but I don't. I don't actually think so. Um, so this, it's just a lot of fun. The uh, the ruling makes it really interesting. This is the only level, the only not level four lower monster in the entire set. So don't get baited by that. If your opponent sets a monster in Battle Pack Three, you know it is Stegosider. Like absolutely, that is what it is. Wingstorm of an equal. Wonder Wand, that's a cool card. I'm a big fan of Wonder Wand. 
because uh, remember the the gimmick of Battle Pack Three is that all the monsters are all the types. Okay, so we just screwed up. We got Poor Man's Fiendish Chain. Although Fiendish Chain's pretty cheap now. We got all this random stuff. Hey, this this uh, Mythical Beast deck. Well, it used to just be this card, but now that's like an actual archetype coming out in the next main booster. Let's get through here. Royal Firestorm Guards. You guys know how I feel about Royal Firestorm Guards. Well, if you don't, I'm a big fan of the Volcanics and the Pyros and Royal Firestorm Guards. You can even use Royal Firestorm Guards to shuffle back a Gem Knight Garnet into your deck if you wanted to. I won't stop you. Closed Forest. Koakimira Wall. That's the max rarity version of Koakimira Wall, by the way. Because the... Uh, Koakimiru has only come in common except for, who man, the one, uh, Guardian is the one that comes in super. Anyway, well, let's move on to the real entertainment. Well, this is like ridiculous, because this is a uh, Duels Pack Battle City. I don't even know what was in this one. Is this the card in a Mize Pack? I don't think it is, but also I think it is. Is that like <sighs> Jinzo? All we pulled was a Jinzo. Oh, Jurgetto. That's really cool, actually. That's like one of the if not the best card in the set, because this, okay, so if this is the Jurgetto set, it's not the card of Demise set. I don't know what was in here, but I know for a while Jurgetto was the most expensive thing. It was like $20. This was played in early versions of Cosmo. You'd start your battle phase, special summon it, tack over something, and do 1700 damage or like directly, and then you would tribute it to boost a uh, farm girl. So that's cool. Then we also have Jinzo, but yeah, that's really cool. I don't actually remember what was in that set, but uh, this is not, that's not the card in my set. I, I was correct in thinking that. Judgment of the Light. This feels not like uh, nine cards. This feels really thick for some reason. I, I can't quite explain it. But I feel like when you open enough Yu Gi Oh packs, you can tell when one's like a little thicker. Bujinji Turtle. Wow, broken. Uh, XYZ guy. Some of those dudes. We got uh, Susano. Whoa. Susano. I don't know. I don't want you. To... Oh shit! And it's it's super miscut. I don't know if you guys can see that. That is like. Let me try to focus it. That is like ridiculously miscut. You can't even see the border on this side or the bottom. Thanks, Konami. That's really cool, though. Actually, that makes a an okayish pull like way better. Okay, that's pretty sweet. I don't think any other any of the other cards are miscut. Yeah, no, just that one. Okay, that's actually not that not that bad. I'll take a miscut card. So this one so far, even before we open the sort of main attraction here, has been a fairly decent pack just because we did pull a Jura Ghetto. That's kind of neat. And we did pull a miscut card. Miscut Ultra for that matter. But Invasion of Chaos is uh, one of the most valuable old sets, if I remember correctly. I mentioned in the last pack opening that we did with the, uh, the Legendary Collection, that this is one of the most uh, influential packs in the entire game because pretty much after this came out, the game, I don't want to say went south, but got a lot faster. Had cards like BLS and Chaos Emperor Dragon and Demok in this set. Dimension Destroyer, Spirit of the Pot of Greed, Giga Gaga Gigo. This was one of the cards that a whole bunch of people said they thought was in the water structure deck the original one fury from the deep because in the water structure deck if you have a legendary ocean you can normal summon this card as a 2650 beater um it is not included in that deck neither is the uh the other level 5 2400 monster but this card is definitely something oh my oh my lord wow <laughs> oh geez wow okay so that's uh i don't even know what to say we just pulled a, a Chaos Emperor Dragon. Wow, we've actually gotten pretty darn lucky with this Mystery Power Box. And also, two of our three Mystery Power Boxes, we pulled Secrets out of the Vintage Pack. And the, and the first one, we pulled a Gaia Dragon. That's actually insane. This... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. We pulled a, a Chaos Emperor Dragon. I mean, I own this card from back in the day, but mine's like super damaged. I know this isn't a first edition, but holy crap. Okay. Wow, that just got uh, this mystery power box. Hey, there, there's some value for you. Anyway, I've got these cards. Ojama Black, that's a pretty important pull as well. Holy crap. I don't even know how to, how to react to a Chaos Emperor Dragon pull. That's really cool. 
Uh, yes, it is a rotted now. I, I mean, it's not legal, but I believe it is ro a rotted. But that is uh, a minty fresh unlimited Chaos Emperor Dragon. Very nice. And then this miscut card as well. Uh, anyway, though, that's going to wrap up this mystery power box opening. Uh, even though we have a sort of a small sample size of mystery power box 2.0s that were like really good. Uh, I'd say that it's mostly just anecdotal evidence. I don't think this is actually that good. And I'll probably not buy another one. I think we've uh, sort of ran our luck. But uh, this this po pro probably was the best opening because we pulled uh, a Jura Ghetto, which is a really solid sort of card from a couple years back. A miscut Susanoo. And then a mint Chaos Emperor Dragon out of the Invasion of Chaos pack. That's pretty insane. Um, yeah. Let me know uh, what you guys think about this video, what you think about the Mystery Power Box 2.0s now that we've opened three on the channel. Also, let me know what you think about pack openings in general. We're not going to become a pack opening channel, but it is kind of fun. Uh, un <laughs> under some weird circumstances, I ended up with a whole bunch of packs that I had to, like, just sitting around, like the Legendary Collection and this Mystery Power Box, so I thought I would open them for the main channel. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think about them. Some you guys seem to overall like them, but I don't want to ruin my credibility by opening packs but uh yeah i'll see you guys later bye